Wow, what you wouldn't give to be cruising around town in this spectacular Anglia street rock with a scintillating hand-rubbed a Rest Me Red paint job and a fully reworked Chevy small block sitting at the business end of the gas pedal. But how many people possess the know-how and the shop facilities necessary to build a first-class street machine like this? Few people could combine the mechanical skills, fabricating skills, and finishing skills to construct a car that could come anywhere near the overall perfection that this Anglia radiates with. Well, maybe the man who operates this establishment in Huntington Beach, California, can be of some help. This is Chuck Lombardo, and his company, California Street Rods, started in 1974, is in the business of building cars that anyone would love to own, but few have the wherewithal to build from scratch. California Street Rods can provide you with a kit or a complete car. In fact, finding out what the customer wants is Chuck's first objective when someone strolls into his showroom. What ends up happening here when a customer comes in here, a lot of times they, they want something, but they're not sure what they want. So what I try and do, it's like anything else. You know, you try and guide them to what, you know, what they want, number one, and what would be a good driver. You know, we have people come in here and they want a, a, a part drag racing car, part street car, you know, with power windows, air conditioning, a whole bit. We, there's, you know, some guidelines that someone should follow, you know, if they're going to drive the car or a show car, you know, so these are the kind of things that when I sit down and talk to the customer, I kind of feel him out and find out what he wants in the beginning. Although the term street rod gets a lot of use, it does refer to a specific era of car. The terminology street rod is basically, in everybody's estimation, is a pre-48 car. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not a custom, uh, because they kind of categorize these cars, and, you know, and, and, and people categorize them different than maybe we do. But a pre-48 automobile is usually considered a street rod. Chuck's shop is always packed solidly with street rods of all types and various stages of completion. This full-fendered 32 Ford Roadster is just about ready for delivery, and its undercarriage, featuring a fully independent rear suspension, is more immaculate than the top side of most other cars. The day we visited, there was even this Rolls-Royce body sitting in the shop, and nobody was saying much about what plans the street rod boys had for it. However, we did have a chance to see and hear this almost completed pro street pickup truck with a small block Chevy engine that sounded like it was wearing its war paint. Asking how much a street rod from Chuck's outstanding facility would cost you is a question that can't be answered simply. It's just a question of how much or how little you want to spend. What is the average street rod buyer all about? We get more of the 45, 50 year old guys in here that have the 14, 15 year old sons that now want to get involved and do something and make it a family related thing. And if you go to any of the street ride events, and it's really wild to see, because this is really a family-oriented sport. You know, I mean, not taken away from any other sport. You go to one of these events, and you see the family. You see the husband, the wife, and the kids. I mean, that's just the way this happened to you know evolve around. And the reason for it is, is most of these guys have all grown to the point where they can afford to do this. To go from a raw, unfinished skeleton like this to a gorgeous street rod like this takes the kind of patience and attention to detail that's hard to find. Chuck keeps a scrapbook of the many magazine features that have spotlighted his cars over the years, which clearly proves how successfully he's maintained the quality of his handiwork. From the design stage, to the chassis construction, to the body fabrication, to the detailing of Chevy engines with Corvette induction systems like this one, California Street Rods brings a truckload of experience to the world of high-performance street machines, and Chuck Lombardo loves every minute of it. This has to be the magical part of my day, to be able to build something and turn around and see it on the cover of Hot Rod Magazine. I think Chuck Lombardo will, you know, always be driving something that is different from the Mercedes and, you know, your standard old cars that are out there. And I mean, that's what I enjoy. That's what makes me, when I walk out the door at night and I jump in a 32 Ford or a 34 Ford, whatever might be here, they were driving a little angry around. Nobody gonna tell me the love of the car is dead. When you're driving a different car, you realize that it's still here. It's alive and well. And this is the part we like the most. 
And we literally couldn't have done it without Chuck.